So I'm driving to work one day and this brilliant idea pops into mind. We are gonna go outside and we are going to create linear functions. And so I grabbed a bunch of cones, we laid them all out everywhere, we created quadrant one, and then we busted the kids into three different groups and I would give them an equation. Y is equal to two X. And they would have to physically take themselves and create this linear function in their group. And it was a competition between all of the groups. Y equals two fists, ready, go. And so kids were running around, they were having fun, they were arguing, they were um, just talking about math without them even realizing what they were talking about. So when I say 15 fifths, 15 yeah. fifths reduces down to what? Six three over one. Three over one or six over two. Two. Cool. So if I go up three, one, two, three, I should go over one. Cole's good. Then I go up three again. Two, three. I go over one. And we got first place! Yeah. Right here. Yeah. And it was one of the coolest things to see as the math teacher because what they're actually understanding is is pattern recognition with rise over run. They're understanding actually creating what a linear function looks like. It's a straight line on a coordinate system. And so being able to do that at a socially distanced environment outside uh, was super cool to see the kids. And they really got the understanding. So when we moved it back into the classroom and we actually put it on a piece of paper, they had something to actually refer back to. And so they were like, oh yeah, I needed to go stand here. And my partner needed to go stand two spaces up, one space to the right. And, and this created this idea of, okay, I can put it on this piece of paper and it's all coming back to what we did outside. Um, and it was so cool for the kids to see the connection and actually be able to understand it at a much deeper level than just sitting there talking about it. And it was awesome. It was super cool. The competition was fun. The kids loved it. It was fun and exciting, and at the end of the day, the kids had a good time. I had a good time watching them, and I was super proud of the kids, and so it was a successful day in math.